Good morning. It's Wednesday the 10th of April and it's raining as they predicted. Not heavily, it has been, but um, it's not nice out there. And uh, we've had, I've had to the post this morning, my onion sets. 100, 100 onion sets. Um, Stuttgart and my local garden centre didn't have any in stock, they sold out. So a big shout out to Lincolnshire Garden Supplies who sent these so quickly. Wonderful. So that's going to be a job for tomorrow, I think, tomorrow or Friday, because they forecast a nice few days early soon. And um, what I'm going to do today. Um, a friend is opening her gardens uh, in the National Garden Scheme and <laughs> I'm being gestured at through the window. <laughs> right, um, I forgot what I was saying now. He's put me off my stride. <laughs> uh, yeah, a friend is opening her gardens in the National Garden Scheme and um, she asked me to, um, if I had any plants spare, well, I won't. I don't know yet, but um, I've been looking around for some seed um, to see if I can put something in extra for her uh, for for sale. It's all going to um, cancer research. Oh, is it cancer research or is it? Um, no, it's Macmillan nurses. I think they they raise money for. So I took most of my spare seeds to a seed swap, but I do have some. Um, herb seeds. I've got lemon basil, sweet basil, fennel, herb fennel and dill. Um, so I'll put some of these in to germinate and see if I can get some of those ready. I won't know nearer the time whether I've got any other spare plants. Um, I might even buy a packet of seed from somewhere when I'm out sometime and uh, get them germinated for her. It's not till the 1st of June so I've got plenty of time to get things underway. So that's my job for today. There, that's those done. And I found some coriander as well, so I've got a tray of that in. Um, I'll just go and get some uh, cheap plastic trays, uh, so as I'm not giving away my expensive um, seed trays. And uh, Great, hope she can manage to raise some funds with uh, whatever germinates. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday the 11th of April and I've got my onion sets to replace all those seedlings that I lost. All I've got to do now is uh, dip them in. Onion sets are now in and everything's all covered up second time lucky. It's the first time I've ever lost any onion seedlings, ever. Uh, peas are looking, hmm, something's been nibbling them, something's been nibbling poppy slugs, uh, my broad beans as well, but there's um, a few flowers forming over here and I've got um, 
I've got some at home in the greenhouse anyway that I can replace a few with, but that'll be a job for tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday the 12th of April and I have loads to do. No real big jobs, but lots of little bits and pieces. Um, I want to start by uh, repotting my last of my tomatoes and I've got um, two more okra germinated. So I'm going to get that in its own pots. And then um, I want to get and do some planting at last. Um, I might actually get some peas and no, the marsh too in the front garden and um, some spinach out there as well um, and protect it from the pigeons. I found two fat pigeons feeding on my lemon balm this morning. So I, I picked a load of lemon balm and um, I just put it in the on a low oven to start drying it off and uh, then I leave it in the conservatory to dry fully. Makes lovely tea. There, so um, yeah, I better get cracking because I've got loads to do. It's a lovely day. They forecast um, really quite warm weather today, so fantastic. At long last. That's all the tomato and um, okra pricked out. I noticed um, I was given this squash here and it's got a flower on it. It needs to go out, but I'm a bit worried about frost yet. Um, my own seed has only just gone in. What is it? Is there a label on it? It is. Oh, Ichikukuri. Ah, I don't know. I might risk it and oh, I don't know. I don't know whether to risk it or not and just protect it. I'll give that some thought. Right, next on my agenda is to uh, put the peas in there and um, first of all I'm trying to protect them from um, the birds. The sparrows <laughs> are born, they're nesting here and they're taking the hay for my potatoes which they're quite welcome to but I don't want them eating my peas. Uh, marge 2, sorry, marge 2 not peas. So um, I'm just going to take a few precautions. I've strung some um, wire across here and I've made little loops every now and again so as the uh, the string doesn't slide and then attach some old CDs. Hopefully that will deter the little sparrows. some um, gaps at the end of the row so 
I've got some more seed here. I'm just going to put a few either end that can uh, germinate outside, hopefully. It's hard on the knees. I've noticed that the cat hasn't been using this bed so much since I've put the alpaca poo down, which is interesting. Perhaps that's a, a, another win for al alpaca poo. lot in that border there I've got well I've got coffee grounds from the pub but it's gone a bit moldy I don't suppose it'll matter that will be for the slugs and I've got some fleece to protect it from the sparrows <laughs> Right, so we've got um, rhubarb, rainbow chard, rainbow chard, uh, no that's, I'm getting all muddled up, that's the perpetual chard, then there's uh, rainbow chard, we've got Webb's wonderful lettuce, uh, Lolo Rosso lettuce, coriander, and uh, a few spring onions and I have used those coffee grounds I've tried not to get them too close to the plants but I guess by the time um, we come to eat anything off here then uh, all the mold spores will have um, been washed off by the rain and um, as long as it deters the slugs then that's a good thing just got to get this bed now covered up ready for uh, to protect it from the sparrows and the pigeons. been over the allotment all afternoon. It's been so busy over here that I haven't done any filming at all. Um, you feel a bit stupid standing here talking to yourself. <laughs> anyway, um, what I've been doing is I've been planting out beetroot, uh, radish and um, lettuce um, in strips. It's all covered up now. I've watered it all in. And in between each row, I've put parsnip, carrot, parsnip, carrot, all the way along. Um, so, it's been a very satisfying afternoon altogether. I've got some plants left over, tried to give them away. Nobody wanted them. So, um... That's what I've been doing. And, uh, oh, I've also um, interplanted with the uh, broad beans I had at home because the others have been a little bit nibbled. And uh, over here we have one asparagus. And uh, I've had some 
found a space for the perpetual lettuce and I took up all the black uh, weed suppressant from there and in doing so, where have they gone? In doing so, I've made a huge collection of slugs which are all in here waiting to go for a long walk. Look at that lot. All right. Good morning. It's Sunday 14th of April and the plan today is to get these um, planters painted that I got from a neighbour. Um, lovely sunny day. First of all I've got to get rid of some of these uh, old purple sprouting. I've just picked the last off this for dinner later. Uh, I've got so much to do but somebody messaged me yesterday to say they had they bagged up some bags of horse poo for me. So I've got to go and collect those in about 15 minutes which is going to take up some time. And uh, along, <laughs> also, my friend that has the alpacas, she's bagging up some um, alpaca poo for me. So I'm going to have poo coming out of my ears. <laughs> anyway, it's all good stuff. And uh, it'll keep for whenever I need it. I'm going to put some in these planters anyway uh, to fill them up so as I don't have to, to buy so much um, compost in to fill them up with. Uh, so, uh, that's the one of the jobs for today. I've also got sweet corn uh, that has been germinating in the little tub on the windowsill. It's only taken about five days, so they've got to go into pots. I've brought stuff from the conservatory into the greenhouse. Uh, I've got more stuff to go out into the allotment. And sitting here chatting is not going to get anything done. So, um, I'm going to get on with it. Right, so there we have three bags of very fresh horse poo. Um, the, it's been so wet they haven't been able to take the um, manure from their stables out into the field because they just churn it up driving across there. So they've bagged it up, they've got tons of bags there and uh, it'll need washing down so it'll just sit here by the oil tank. <laughs> to rot down but I had to drive four miles to get it and it's so fresh the smell in the car was quite overpowering and there we have a spare bag of alpaca poo which will be used fairly soon the manch tote too is surviving quite well that I put in the other day pleased with that I've got a uh, potato coming through. I think it's a potato. Yes, it is. Yes, potato coming through. I don't know what, I haven't looked under here to see if everything's all right. But at a quick glance, yeah, things, things are okay. Perhaps something's nibbled a little bit. I've been out every night collecting slugs. Coming off the compost. Lovely. Got loads more material to go in there. Okay, so at least now I've got to the back of the planter, I can actually paint uh, before I put the bean canes in. And um, the purple sprouting stalks, those there, I'm going to hang on to them because once I've uh, painted and lined the tubs, I'll put those in the bottom, they'll rot down over time and I won't need to use as much compost.
nowhere near finished. I have got two coats on the inside of that one and I've got one coat on the outside. Uh, but as long as I get two coats on the inside, I'm happy because um, once I fill up this soil, um, I won't have a chance to, to do that again for a long time. This one's only got one coat on the inside, I, I, but I, I can't spend any more time on it this afternoon. Good morning. It's Tuesday the 16th of April and I've been out really early this morning and walked the dogs early and now I'm just um, chopping down the rest of the purple sprouting to clear that bed ready for my beans. Um, I've got all my seedlings ready to take over to the allotment uh, at about 10 o'clock. I've got some exciting news to tell you. Uh, more about that later when we get over there. But for now, I'm just uh, chopping up the, the rest of the purple sprouting to put in the compost. So I'll see you over the allotment and tell you all about it. busy um, planting things out this morning. This is what I've been doing. Um, oh, I'm in my own shadow here. I'm putting in... Um, oh, what am I putting in? My brain's gone this morning. Right, this is what I've been doing this morning. I've been putting in celeriac, swede, spinach, Coral rabbi. Uh, there's a couple of cauliflower in there, and then I'm going to finish filling up that bed with coriander, um, more celeriac and sweet, and bits and pieces. And then any spaces I'll fill up with coriander. All right, I've finished planting up that bed. I'll just get some fleece over the top of that to protect it a bit. I think we're going to have some quite um, cold temperatures at night, not quite frosty but cold nonetheless. Right, where I lost all my leeks, I've put in a few New Brunswick cabbage and some year-round cauliflower. I can't remember which is which. <laughs> now that the labels are off, no sign of the onion sets yet. I wonder if something's eating them. We do have, though, uh, more signs of asparagus. Where is it? very difficult to see as it's coming through ah, there there asparagus tip and I did see another one here yep there's one there and another thing I can report that is the very beginning of the Jerusalem artichokes coming through anything more up here um, yes there's one over here yeah, there's one coming through just there. Good. Just having a look under the covers of what I planted the other day. And it looks like the bee chew is surviving. I've lost I've lost a few lettuce. Well that was only to be expected. Right, okay, good. Right, I hope it's not too windy so uh, you can hear me. Um, when I was over here on um, Saturday, um, I was planting out lots of things and I had some spare plants and I offered them to the uh, allotment manager um, and I said, oh, I'm running out of space already. I said, I'm going to have to need another plot soon. <laughs> Just jokingly, or half jokingly. Anyway, yesterday morning, I got an email. He said... Um, some, some of the grounds come available. Would you like it? So um, I've been given an extra piece on the allotments. Quite a nice big area too. Um, so I'll just uh, take you from here to show you exactly where it is.
Right, so these are my five beds here. And I have been given this area, um, not the whole lot, the whole plot at the moment runs from the edge there right up to the blue bin. Well, that's far too much. Um, so he's going to split it into three and offer it to different people. But I've got the first bit from here up to about um, probably the bean canes. He's going to measure it out exactly into, into thirds. So, how fantastic is that? So, that's about all for this week. Um, I've got to get more black plastic and uh, contact my friend with uh, horse manure. Well rotted stuff this time. And what I'll probably do is probably uh, cover it with uh, the well rotted horse manure. Then put the black plastic on and then plant through it. So that's the plan. Anyway, that's all for this week. See you next week.